Uh, so I hope all is well. Um, first, y'all, tomorrow is the baptism. It is baptism Saturday. Yeah, I'm so excited. Like, this is so dope. I'm really excited about this. This is going to be cool. So without further ado, y'all, uh, I wanted to go over some, um, some, what is it called? Like, some of what y'all should expect when you get there or even before you even get there. You know, just, um, inform yourself about what is baptism, you know, and, um, you know, what does it look like and, you know, things of that sort. So without further ado, y'all, let's get right into it, okay? So with that being said, um, when you first get there, we're gonna definitely gonna ask you, okay, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And um, and these, I'm just gonna have some things to expect. Y'all can definitely do it before y'all get there, before it can save you maybe some time. I don't know, but um, I do want to just make sure that we're all you know on the court. So with that being said, I'm gonna ask you, hey, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If yes, then we'll move forward. If not, then hey, cool. We're just gonna go ahead and declare Romans 10 and 9. We're gonna pray that scripture together and make Jesus Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. Um, then afterwards, then we'll move forward. Um, and then uh, we'll go over Acts chapter 2, verse 38, verse tw and 29. So if y'all want, y'all can go ahead and read it, but y'all can kind of know what to expect. But um, it says, Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the holy spirit the promise is what is for you and your children and for all those who are far off for all whom the lord our god will call let me read that one more time y'all so it says peter replied repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the promise is for you and your children and for all of you, all of you, all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. So um, that's when we'll ask if you, uh, like if he or she, the disciple, um, yeah, the, the future disciple, uh, if y'all have repented for your sins. So if you say yes, we'll move forward. And if not, then we'll go ahead and re we'll repent with you, you know. Um, and we will repent with you, pray uh, repentance, uh, a prayer of repentance, you know, um, over you. And in reference of Second Corinthians 5 and 17, you know, that's what scripture will be using. So if y'all want to go ahead and, you know, just study it and kind of bear witness with it already, um, cool. That's fine. Um, and this is for the ones that may have not already repented. So if y'all haven't repented yet, I would definitely urge you to repent for your sins, okay? Um, and it's just re repent and be baptized, you know. So it says, so after that, we'll move forward and uh, we'll go to um, Luke 33. We'll go to Luke 3, verse 21 through 22. It says, when all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him and boldly formed. Uh, on him in bodily form and bodily form like a dove and a voice came from heaven you are my son whom I love with you I am well pleased and this is in Luke chapter 3 verse 21 and 22 so y'all can definitely go look um and yeah y'all can go ahead and go look at that just to get familiar with it um and we reference that scripture because once, um, before you get baptized, we will refer to that scripture. And then uh, it will be time to be baptized. And then uh, one of the, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. Um, also, uh, so yeah, that, that's going to uh, be how it looks uh, and what to expect. Um, and then, yeah, when you are done, then we'll have a special surprise for you. Can't tell y'all what that is yet, but, um, it'll be beautiful, okay? Um, and, uh, we'll also have water so y'all can get y'all the water. Um, but yeah, so, well, I, well, I wanted to, well, I forgot to mention, but what is very important is the importance of 
what is baptism, you know, what the significance of baptism is. So in Romans 6, verse 3, um, yeah, Romans chapter 6, verse 3 through 4, um, it says, Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that Jesus, just as just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. I'm going to repeat it, y'all. It says, or do you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. So, yeah, y'all, um, baptism represents us dying with Christ. And you know how just how God rung Jesus up from the dead, that's also how, uh, that's what symbolized the resurrection as well. And, uh, yeah, the resurrection as well when you get up. You know, those things that were once, uh, those sins that, oh, my gosh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, so when Jesus, when Jesus went down and then when Jesus conquered hell, death, and the grave, I could you not. When Jesus went down, so did our sins go down. So that's what, like, in the baptism, when we go down, so does our sins go down. When we come up, we are new. No longer are our sins held by Yahweh. No longer is our sins uh, on us. You know, our sins are now died. They all died. They died. Or we died to our flesh when we died when we died when we died with jesus so did our sins die so that means that now we're no longer bound to sin we can't we can't literally god saved us yeah right, bye, bye, yeah the god saved us from sin no longer can sin have a hold on us we can repent now and we walk that thing our salvation out because we're not perfect and jesus god knew that that's why he said it's only but god god yeah when god sent his only but god son down uh, Jesus to die for our sin. It was uh, we was once separate. Sin separated us from God. You know, that was in the way of us and God. However, when God sent His only begotten Son down, that removed the separation. That removed the barrier. God, Jesus removed the barrier when He died for us. Now, those who accept Jesus as their Lord and uh, Savior, their Lord and Savior, now through that new covenant, now we're able to repent and get access to God. And, you know, God's promises. Now there's nothing in the way of that when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you know, and then when you get baptized, that's when you receive, uh, excuse me, when you also receive the Holy Spirit, you know? So it's just, yeah, right by it, I am, right by it. So yeah, um, yep, um, yeah, um, it says in Acts 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 38 through 39, Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. So, yeah, y'all, go ahead. Let's repent and be baptized so you can receive the Holy Spirit. Because, y'all, in these times that are coming up, you're going to need help. We need them now. And I'm telling y'all, God will give you the utterance that no devil can understand. And it will confuse the enemy because he don't know nothing that you're talking about. So with that being said, y'all, let's get this one and let's go. Y'all, if y'all feel it, let's get there, get there, no matter what. Okay? So with that being said, y'all, be there because I may not be on social, social media to remind y'all that you know, the baptism is every Saturday in the month of July, 2023. So y'all remember this, because I may not come on here to share, like to remind y'all of it, because I already put out the videos and I already put out the flyer. So it's up to y'all to be there. All right? So with that being said, y'all, I love y'all, but God love y'all more. And for the ones that uh, have not, um, have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Now is the time. And we can do that now, y'all. That's a step, even a step ahead for tomorrow, okay? So with that being said, uh, it says in Romans 10 and 9 that if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 
So without further ado, y'all, repeat after you, girl. And let's get this win. Father God, Yahweh, I come to you in the name. We come to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for who you are, God, and all that you do, God. Yahweh, we thank you for who you are, God, and all that you do. Father God, we declare with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. And we believe in our hearts that you, Father God, raised him from the dead. We are saved in Jesus' name. God, thank you, God, that now that we are in Christ Jesus, that the old has passed and that the new is here, God, that we are new creatures in you, God, and that the old has passed and that the new is here. Father, God, help us to walk out this, our, our salvation, God, in you, Lord. And Lord, let it not stop now, but let us go get baptized and do whatever you have us to do, God. Your way, your will, God, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we say amen and amen. All right, y'all. Uh, y'all rap hi it papaya. Y'all got it so faithful. So without further ado, y'all let's get it and let's go. God bless. Bye.